beautiful and mysterious Maui, Hawaii. I'm doing this basically for the chicks and the glory. 26.2 miles of pain, guts, and glory. You know, I've always been in awe of uh, marathon runners. In the longest running marathon west of the Mississippi. I am about to run a marathon, 26.2 miles. Runners of all abilities from across the globe. Today, but we're well set. We got over uh, 18,000 pounds of ice out there to keep them cooled down, and uh, I think we're in real good shape. One of the most scenic and festive settings anywhere for a marathon. Once you get the running bug, <laughs> it never leaves. And a host of running races for elite and novice runners alike. Aloha, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Maui and the 35th annual Maui Marathon. With a weekend full of running activities, the Maui Tacos 5K, the Front Street Mile, and beautiful historic downtown Lahaina town with world-class runners, the Half Marathon, it's just a load of running activity, and 800 Japanese athletes. Nihon no Senshi no Minasan, Maido Dai Sanjugo Kai no Maui Marathon, Yokoso. So have fun out there, everybody, and enjoy 26.2 miles of paradise and the 35th annual Maui Marathon. It's just gonna be easy the first uh, half, and then down the hill, we're gonna run at home. That's fine. Um, uh, I'm gonna run a, a cautious anyway, and I, I hope he actually gets a good race out of it too, if nothing else. But I think, I think it's a patience game, and I think we have to go, we have to go easy. Five thirty a.m. and they're off. Seventeen hundred runners from across the U.S., Japan, Canada, Australia, Sweden, and Germany. <laughs> The elite field leading the pack onto the residential streets of Kahalui. From here, the tightly bunched throng will begin to elongate into a 15 to 20 mile long millipede of humanity with legs churning and thrusting arms. The course for the 35th running of the Maori Marathon starts at Queen Kaumanu Center in the town of Kahalui, stretches for eight miles past pineapple and sugar cane fields to the Pacific shoreline, then for four miles up and over the challenging and scenic Pali Cliffs, back down to the Pacific shoreline, through the historic streets of Lahaina, and finally finishing at Whalers Village near the famous tourist beaches of Kaanapali, 26.2 miles later. just before the Poly Cliffs. Disabled athlete Jeff May of Canada, one of two in this year's wheelchair division. May's unique and challenging style is not yet allowed in some wheelchair races, but is fully permissible here in Maui. Surely, this is a brief moment of bliss to go with the pain as a throng of well-wishers cheering on his journey. His lead, two minutes over perennial challenger, Neil Snaw. In the elite men's field, as expected, Kevin Collins from the U.S. and defending champion Jacob Rodich, a Kenyan now living in Austin, Texas, battles side by side for the early lead. Joining them at the six mile mark is Japan's Katushi Fuchiwaki. The moon drops over the Maui Mountains as the sun rises, another of the moving scenes this marathon is famous for. The current leaderboard, Rodich, Collins, and Fuchiwaki, all knotted up and running shoulder to shoulder. The 35th running of the Maui Marathon is being brought to you by Hawaii, the Islands of Aloha. By the Western Maui Resort and Spa, where heaven and aloha meet. Kaanapali, Maui, where the world comes to play. And by Haynes and Outer Banks, the official clothing sponsors of the Maui Marathon. Riding the waves, 
and running the road, the Maui Marathon, back in a moment. Welcome back to the dramatic and scenic shores of Maui, Hawaii for the 35th Maui Marathon. Now in the Pali Cliffs near mile marker nine, race leaders Rodich, Collins, and Fuchiwaki stride for stride. Collins, the 2003 World Marathon Championship runner-up with his head down. Rodich, the defending Maui champion with the smoother stride. Behind them, Hadaskew, Matthew Holton, a Maui resident and last year's half marathon winner but he's now two and a half minutes behind the trio of front runners. The women's race still a jockey for position as several runners try to maintain the early pace. The second segment of the 26.2 mile race, the most challenging as it races four miles up and over the famed and scenic Pali Cliffs. Mile marker 10, the leaders still stride for stride in a three-way battle for first. The pace just under five and a half minutes per mile. Collins begins to make a move and surges ahead 10 strides as Rodich slows for water. He's our new leader. Behind them, Peggy Nelson Panzer from Aurora, Colorado presses the ladies field. Panzer second here in 2004, third in 03, now at mile number eight. Well, mile eight has a pretty good uphill and that's kind of challenging, but fortunately it's early in the race, so it, you're not too tired before you get there. Rolling out of the Pali Cliffs in a spectacular pace by our trio of leaders. Passing Jeff May, who leads the wheelchair division. He's not able to take advantage of the downhill as he must slow on his descent for control reasons. Behind our men's leaders entering the Pali Cliffs, Jeannie will catch young a perennial contender here in Maui and a crowd favorite. Young, the 2004 women's champion. Just uh, no strategy. I love Maui Marathon. I'm here to, you know, have fun and as usual and see the people. Her pace way off the mark today. She's way back at the leader in giving ground. Well, Cash Young could be excused for lack of focus in today's race. There's good reason. She was married and this is her honeymoon. An hour and a half in, our men's leaders still all knotted up one, two, and three, with Kusitani from Honolulu, Hawaii, taking over the women's lead. Well, the marathon isn't the only race run on Maui during Marathon Week. Striders of all ages pursue their running dreams at the annual Front Street Mile, just another of the popular highlights of this week for runners. Well, we got the fourth annual Runner's Paradise Front Street Mile going on. A uh, huge crowd today uh, here down on Front Street. Uh, we've got ages uh, two-year-olds all the way up to the elite athletes, men and women, boys, girls. Uh, it's a hot event. And again, you know, fourth year, it's, it's, it looks like it's a, another winner. The men's elite field, eight of the top milers in the U.S., including Jason Lund, the winner here two years ago. I don't think you can practice that turn. That turn was tight. Um, it's uh, actually it's probably the tightest mile road turn I've ever ever experienced. So no real practicing for that. Ready to go. The final results of the Front Street Mile. Lund wins it at four minutes even. Alex Gray in second place. Luis Soto finishes third. Back to the marathon. Now out of the Pauley Cliffs, Jeff May is in the lead at mile marker 13, pumping along with the Pacific surf pounding in the background. I really like to just kind of challenge myself, and uh, I really do love the sport. That's why I stay in it. Nice speed, nice way. In the women's race, Sayuri Kusutani from Honolulu takes the lead and stretches it, surging to a nearly five minute gap over Yoko Yamazawa, job, Japan. Matthew Holton, now 15 minutes behind the trio of leaders. Minutes. 
the final leg of the 35th Maui Marathon a relatively flat section along the Pacific shoreline with one wrinkle, a course jog through Lahaina and down historic Front Street. Mile marker 17 and Katushi Fuchiwaka is showing signs of weakening, falling off the brisk pace being set by co-leaders Kevin Collins and defending champion Jacob Rodich. Collins, too, appears to be wavering in his bid to keep up. Rodich still sharp with a stiffening stride. Rodich now on a breakaway, seven miles still to go. Even if a guy gets out of your sight, you still can see him as late as the 25th mile. So I thought maybe there was a chance that his, his sort of stiffening of his legs, maybe the wall hadn't reached him yet and the wall was going to hit him and I figured if I could hold my cadence, maybe I could come back up on him. The 35th Maui Marathon, 19 miles in the books, the final 7.2 miles just around the corner. Coming up, a peek at our second annual Maui Half Marathon. We'll be right back. Beautiful, scenic Maui, Hawaii. The backdrop for the 35th Maui Marathon. 7.32 a.m., defending champion Jacob Rodich enters Lahaina with a one and one half minute lead. After nearly 19 miles of stride for stride, side by side running with Kevin Collins and Katushi Fuchiwaki, he's now clear of his closest pursuers. Still charging in second is Collins, but the gap is rapidly widening. Now, nearly a quarter mile back with a little over six to run. In the women's elite field, Sayuri Kasutani from nearby Honolulu is in command. Early challenger and 04 runner-up Peggy Nelson Panzer has faded badly. Down the final paces of Front Street for Jacob Rodich. This race is his if he can keep the pace the final two and a half miles. The Front Street mile and the marathon race are the highlights of the week here in Maui, but not the only attractions. Nearly a dozen foot races now comprise Marathon Week, including the newest edition, a half marathon. Nearly as popular as its Marathon Big Brother, in just its second year, the Maui Half Marathon boasted almost 1,500 runners this year. The course runs nearly opposite of the full marathon, beginning in Whalers Village, before turning around in Lahaina and mixing the two fields in a race to the finish line. This year's winner, the runner-up in the 2003 marathon, Roger Bush from Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, we ran through Front Street with the gentleman, I believe, coming up in second. Mm -hmm. And then about five and a half, or five, I started pulling away a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I think he slowed down and I just kind of stayed the same. In the women's field, Kelly Bassett of Tempe, Arizona captured the crown in a time of 1.23.30. The final half marathon scoreboard, Bush, Matthews, and Dave Schumacher, the top three for the men. And for the women, Kelly Bassett, Rane Tanemoto, and Michi Ito. Back to the marathon. The women's field now spread out over several miles. Junko Yukisi, currently in seventh in the women's elite field, way back of the leader, Kusutani. Kevin Collins continues to hold second in the men's elite field, but time is running out on his bid to win. Hillary Como of San Diego, California, ditto. She was running second for several miles, but now she's dropped to 20.
Katushi Uchiwaki of Japan passes an exhausted and fading Collins into second place and takes on the challenge of catching Rodich. But barring a major bonk by Rodich, this is all his race. Collins struggles to hold third. Back along the Pacific shoreline, defending women's champion Jeannie Wokash Young, currently in fifth. Jacob Rodich striding strongly at mile marker 24. Just over two miles of road separate him from his second straight Maui Marathon crown. Lingerers from the half marathon cheer him on. Whalers Village, Ka'anapali Beach are the final destinations for Rodich just as the Weston Maui Resort and Spa is for scores of vacation travelers each year. Nestled along a spectacular stretch of famed Ka'anapali Beach, this Maui hotel blends an endless array of amenities with activities. And combined with their gracious aloha spirit is the perfect spot for any Hawaiian vacation. The Weston Maui Resort and Spa is just minutes from Maui's main attractions, yet remains a world unto itself with exclusive services. Heaven and Aloha meet at the Weston Maui Spa, offering massage, skin care, and heavenly spa treatments. Shopping, dining, or just relaxing are what make the Weston Maui Resort and Spa one of the world's greatest hotels, situated on one of the globe's greatest beaches. Headquarters for the Maui Marathon, the Weston Maui Resort and Spa, where heaven and aloha meet. The current leaderboard for the 2005 Maui Marathon, Jacob Rodich, the defending champion, now up two minutes over Fuchiwaki of Japan in the men's elite field. In the women's race, Kusutani from Honolulu dominating, up by an astounding eight minutes over Japan's Yoko Yamazawa. She continues to run strong. Defending champion Rodich still running strong as well, with only one distant challenger still left, Ushiwaki of Japan. At 2.20.20, Rodich is off the record pace set by Eddie Hellebuck a couple of years ago, but still has a chance to put together one of the finer finishes in the Maui Marathon. For Kusutani of Honolulu, it's the home stretch with a huge lead and no worries as long as she continues. The 2005 Maui Marathon and Half Marathon has been brought to you by Hawaii, the Islands of Aloha. By the Weston Maui Resort and Spa, where heaven and aloha meet. By Ka'anapali Maui, where the world comes to play. And by Haynes and Outer Banks, official clothing sponsors for the Maui Marathon. The finish of the 35th Maui Marathon. We come back. Defending champion Jacob Rodich has left contender after contender in his wake in the 35th running of the Maui Marathon. Kevin Collins, one of several pre-race favorites, has bonked and has pulled out of the race. Katushi Fuchiwaki from Japan, a surprise, was stride for stride with the pair through nearly 18 miles, but is now over two minutes behind. For the women, what started as a deep field has been dropped by Sayuri Kusutani from Honolulu, Hawaii. With three miles to go, she enjoys nearly a 10-minute lead. Her closest pursuer, Yoko Yamazawa, who is now literally miles behind. In the wheelchair division, Canada's Jeff May rolls towards his first Maui victory. Disabled athletes in charitable causes are not new to the Maui Marathon. In fact, they've been staples for years. As have celebrity sightings among the runners' ranks. Here's Christy Smith. You might recognize her from the popular Survivor Reality series. She's here running for a new charitable program she championed, Christie's Kid, and Challenge Aspen that proves disabled people can do anything. Your body can do so much more than you think you can. Congratulations, you did it! 
Congratulations, Aloha. Thank you, Aloha. Good job. Good job. That was 19 miles. Yes, immediately after the 19 mile, I started pulling away, and I went all the way. So I didn't ever look back. I was waiting for Kevin to make a move so that I could, but he, he never quite did. <laughs> so I had to make a move. Rodich's 5.38 mile pace takes its toll on the men's field, including Matthew Holton, who finished third, and Kevin Collins, who never finished the race. Matthew Holton! Giving it all he's got. Whoa! Entering Waiters Village, a seemingly easy victory for Sayuri Kusutani from Honolulu, outdueling all contenders for her first Maui crown. The final sprint for Kusutani, and an overall 26.2 mile time of 2.5501. Up to 16 miles, it was really comfortable. I enjoyed running. But during the last couple of miles, it was rough. The final scoreboard for our elite man, Rodich the winner in 227.58, Uchiwaki back nearly two minutes, and surprisingly in third, Matthew Holton. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we'll see him at the awards tonight. Jacob Rodich, two-time men's Maui Marathon champion. For defending champion Jeannie Wokash Young, a fifth place finish, a honeymoon, and the crowd favorite cartwheel across the finish line. The final standings for our elite women. Kusutani in 255.01 wins easily over Yamazawa of Japan. And in third place, Miyuki Kaniko, also of Japan. One final look at scenes from the 35th annual Maui Marathon. Once again, a smashing success for runners of all abilities, like Jeff May in the wheelchair division. And for numerous charities here on the island of Maui. And two-time champion, <laughs> Jacob awesome. Rose. I feel great. I would like to tell the people of Maui, thank you very much. This was, it's greater than I expected. I had the greatest hospitality. I had to meet great people. And I think this is a great destination to come. That's all for this year. Until next year, keep running and remember Maui no ka oi, Maui is the best. So long everybody.